to my channel Riazzi. I'm Rianne and today we're going to carry on with the left eye of Lydia Dietz for our crochet portrait tutorial. Um, you're just going to need your black and the two greens that we use for the other eye um, and yeah we're just going to build around it. It shouldn't take us too long. Um, yeah so make sure that you've done uh, tutorial three otherwise this is no good. <laughs> And uh, any problems, just let me know in the comments as always. Um, best of luck and I'll see you in the next one. We're going to continue crocheting the top part of Lydia Dietz's eye. And we're going to need um, a little bit of black yarn. And let's go for the... Um, not the neon yarn. <laughs> I need numbers, don't I? <laughs> so we're going to go for the uh, a, a good, a bright sort of colour green. Oh my goodness, I get them all tongue twisted. Okay, so um, let's let's have a look. So let's um, okay. So there's not much space here is there above the um above the lashes so i'm thinking i might mix two colors the two greens that we got the neon and the not neon green so how about if we take the eye the right hand side um let's go on this lower part here so i'm gonna pop my hook in uh around about there and that's where we're going to join the two shades of green. Um, let me just find the ends. Ah, it's all tangled. Oh, good grief. Right, hang on. What a mess. Oh, I think I'm in a mess. <laughs> right. Ah, there it is. Okay. So. Oh, sometime today we'll get started. Right, here we go. So I've got my two strands of yarn. That's where I'm adding, and here we go. So pull it through. If we chain one, just to bring that up a little bit so we can easily get to the top, let's, I'm gonna go into that um, back loop. No, I'm gonna go through both. I don't really like it when it's back loop by there. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, so single crochet <laughs> there. Ah, okay, and then in the next we'll do, yeah, we'll carry on, we'll do another single crochet. Uh, in the next, it's where we did that slip stitch. I'm going to do another single. And I'm going to pop another one in there so that it's not going to be so tight. There we go. Right, and then um, I'm going to go into that back loop of the back loop of the black there it was it was just a section that we didn't do a chain one you know so it's just that back loop and we'll do that we'll do a single crochet oh look i've dropped the loop by there oh i'll go back hang on so i'm taking up taking that out hang on oh i can see sorry just it, it normally doesn't look too bad but that did look bad so that was a yeah crochet and then I went into that back loop. Oh, crumbs. <laughs> single crochet. Okay, I'm back with you now. Right, so that's a single crochet. Uh, and let's carry on the top back loop again in the next one. So I keep dropping part of the strands of the yarn. Hang on. Single crochet. There we go. Uh, and again, back loop into that black. Pull through. Do another single crochet. So we can't do too tall a stitch now because it's it's not much space to work with. So I did a back loop then again and a single crochet. And I think, yeah, I'm just going to carry on with the two colours mixed. Now I'm not going to go into back loops. So I'm going to do my single crochet, but another one in that same space. So that was two single crochets. That's how it's looking so far. And again, in the next one, we'll do a single crochet. Just get a bit more yarn. 
and test that out. Oh, see, so as the brow goes up there, we might have a bit more to play with. So the next stitch, we'll do a yarn over and half double crochet. And let's do another, we'll do a double crochet in the same uh, stitch as that half double crochet. Let's see. Yep. And then, um, sorry, double crochet in the next. And again in the next, double crochet. And I'm going to do another one in the same space, same, same stitch, double crochet. And then double crochet in the next stitch. So we're coming round to the side of the eye. And again, in the next one, a double crochet. In the next, a double crochet. And in the next one, another double crochet. Lovely. Um, I'll do another double crochet in that same space. Let's just double check. Okay, and then I think, yeah, I'll keep going. The next one, I'll do a double crochet. And I think I'm going to drop that, the neon shade. And I just want to continue with the other green. So let's do a double crochet in the next stitch. And it's going to need two. So let's do two in there. And double crochet in the next stitch. Um, I need, it needs another one. Do you see how it's sort of, as we're coming around, the stitch is very much leaning to the right. So you can see how work can start to curl. So you've got to sort of judge it. Um, so really I want my stitches to be more upright as I'm carrying on so that it's nice and loose and doesn't, yeah, doesn't curl. That's the only way I can explain it. So I'm going to do another double crochet in the same space. See, so it's, it's not quite upright, but it's up. It's, you know, it's less, it's got more space. <laughs> uh, okay, in the next double crochet. That's not too bad. And in the next double crochet. And then I'll do another one in there, double crochet. That was in the same same stitch. Two in the same. Um, okay, keep on going across. Double crochet. In the next one, another double crochet. Um, let me see what that is. That was my slip stitch. Can you see I just pulled that there. But I'm going to do another one in the same space. So that was two in the same one, double crochet. And then where, I don't know what I've done there, but my, my one's gone a bit funny. But I'm just going to ignore that black bit. And where I did the slip stitch, I'm going to yarn over and do a double crochet in there as well. Now it's going to create a little a little gap. You see that little gap there? If it mm, Does it bother me? Hang on. <laughs> does it bother me? That's the question. I think I'm okay with it. So I'm going to do another double crochet in that same space and that should, there you go. So it's kind of closed the gap. It's kind of pushed it, it's pushed it across, so that's fine. Um, let's do a half double crochet, no, nope, sorry, double crochet in that one. Uh, now let me see. Da -da -da. Let me have a look. Ooh, I might, I'm going to join the neon again now. So, as we're getting onto that neon section, I'm going to bring, I'm just pulling it across from behind. Um, yeah, sometimes I put my finger there just to give it a bit more slack and sort of do that. I'm a bit all fingers here, and then I got a bit of slack so that it's not going to be pulled too tight. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, so, that's yarn over, and where we joined 
that neon part there. That's where I'm going to go for it. I'm going to pop my hook in there and hopefully not pull up too much of the white there. Okay, so yarn over and do double crochet. There you go. So you can see I've left that a bit loose around the back too, just in case, well, some, I, I've done it before where it's been really tight because it's pulled right across and then not realizing that it's curled my work. So that's why I do that. Uh, okay, so let me just see. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, we've got quite a lot to play with here. So uh, let's yarn over and I'm going to kind of skip that weird, I don't know what that is, a little weird slip stitch or something, but go into the next one and I'm going to do a half double crochet and that's with the two strands. I just did a little spit there, excuse me. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, yarn over. And then let's do a half double crochet in the next. It still feels okay. It's curling a little bit there, but that's okay. Yarn over in the same space then. Let's just, yeah, add another half double crochet. And then yarn over, half double crochet again. It's going to need another one, I'd say. So let's do another one in there. Half double crochet. There we go. And then I want to see that first stitch there. That's where I'm going to just slip stitch. So I'm going to slip stitch just to bring that round together. So it just looks, yeah, let me just see. There we go. So I'll cut, oh yeah, I'll cut that off there, pull it through, and then tuck it behind. Ah, I'm going to do that again. Right. There, got it. Okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. Right. That's how we are looking so far. So what we'll do now, we'll build up this section and then we'll build up this section and that way we can start adding the brow, okay? So, um, I want to use the, this color green. So not neon, the not neon green. Um, we can do some surface stitching after as well, just to, straighten all that the black up but let me just have a look right okay so i think i'm just going to start there so basically where we did our slip stitch i'm popping my hook in there and i'm going to add that green there we go that's where i'm adding it um and then I'm going to do it chain one and yeah, I'm just going to go into the next available stitch and do a single crochet. Then I'm going to do a half double crochet in the next stitch, uh, double crochet in the same stitch. There we go, just bringing that up a little bit. In the next one, I'm going to do a double crochet. In the next one, another double crochet. And then, this is what I do an awful lot of, um, let me just double check, yeah, so what I tend to do, because I like the way, I like that shape there, um, what I tend to do to keep it going like that, is I'll chain one, and then into this I'll start crocheting or slip stitching depending on, you, you know, how much space I've got to play with, but I'll go into the side of that double crochet, and I'll just start doing some stitches. So I'm going to do, I did a single crochet then. I'll do another single crochet next to it. And then where that double crochet stitch was made, I'll go into that same stitch and do another double crochet, no, single, sorry. Never single, I meant to say. <laughs> and then I'll skip a stitch, because you can see if I sort of bring my hook across, it will lie nice and flat, 
if I missed that stitch and then did a slip stitch into there. There we go. I'm going to cut that off and just see if that's worked. There we go. Um, do you see what I mean? I don't know if I explained that right, but that's what was going through my mind. <laughs> okay, yeah, so that would be a nice place to start doing our brow, but before we go into it, I'm going to build up this side so I can carry on then with the brow. Um, okay, so you can kind of see here where the point of where... Um, uh, it starts to go down before it goes down. So that's where I'm going to add my um, yarn. Um, and I'm going to go for the same same color green, okay? So here we go. I'll just do a little closer look, closer one for you. So let's pull it through. And I'm not going to do a chain one, but into the next uh, stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet. I'll do another one as well in the same stitch. And then I'm going to yarn over and do a half double crochet. In the next one, I'll do another half double crochet. And then in the next, I'll do a double crochet. Keep pulling that bit just to see how it's looking. Hang on. Let me just look. Yeah, we're fine. So in that same stitch, we'll do all oh, that's Yeah, where we did the last one, we'll do an, another double crochet. Another double crochet. <laughs> double crochet. I don't know what I was going to say then. Um, okay, there you go. Uh, in the next stitch, we'll do another double crochet. And then in the next one, double crochet. And then same space double crochet so two went in that one yarn over double crochet and let me just check mm -hmm. and what i'm going to do is yarn over uh in the same space i'm going to do a half double crochet in the next another half double crochet and then I'm going to do a single in the next and then a slip stitch just to finish that section off a second. All right. There we go. Right. Um, let me have a quick... Uh, do, do, do. Right, okay, so this is where we just started on that round. Well, sorry, that row, I guess. Um, so if you count, don't count that little lean-in stitch there. Well, it's not a stitch, is it? The, where we joined it. That's the first stitch there. So we go one, two, three back. Let's pop our hook there. So in there, okay. So if I then grab the same color yarn, pull it through and we'll just do a couple of more stitches there. So in the next stitch, so we don't do nothing, no chain, nothing. So we'll do a single crochet, yarn over, half double crochet, yarn over, double crochet. And then we'll do a half double crochet in the same stitch. Uh, half double crochet in the next single in the next and then a slip stitch let's just see if that's if that's enough to do our brow okay i'm not sure i like that bit but we'll fix it i'll fix it later uh yeah that's not too bad okay bum 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 Right, so, could that be, mm, no, I think that's fine. Okay, so let's do the brow. So we're gonna grab the black and 
I got a scratchy nose. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. So to the right of the eye, I'm not going to go too far forward here. I'm going to pop my hook there. And that's where I'm going to start the brow. And I'm going to do a chain one. And in the next stitch, I'm going to do a single crochet, yarn over, half double crochet, yarn over, half double crochet again. Because it's not that, it's not that thick, is it really? Um, then in the next uh, stitch, we'll do a half double crochet again. Yarn over, half double crochet. Let's just keep going with the half double crochets across and I'll just let you know when I do two in the same stitch. Half double crochet and keep going, hang on. <laughs> so you might need to do Remember what we said before, you might feel the need for two stitches in one if your work is feeling very tight, okay? Um, you really just depend on your tension. Everyone crochets a bit differently, so it is a little bit... It, it makes it your own, basically, doesn't it, with it being free form? Um, okay, so now I'm going to start doing my half... My, I'm sorry, double crochets, just to bring it up. So as I'm getting closer to this, to this side, to the left of the eye, I'm going to be bringing the stitches up a bit. So double crochet. And in the next one, another double crochet. Double crochet. And again in the next one. That's double one. A double, double. Double crochet. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Yep, keep going across. Double crochet. Yarn over. Double crochet. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet. Start bringing that, bringing that brow down just a touch. Half double crochet again. Can always add more after. Half double crochet again. And then let's just finish with a slip stitch. Yeah, I reckon that'll be okay. Even though I'm basing it on the picture. Look at me trying to ask and say, it's just an interpretation. <laughs> just, that's me, um, yeah, not building up your hopes. <laughs> saying it's gonna look exactly like this picture. It probably won't, no, I'm joking. Oh, no pressure myself okay um yeah so that's how it's looking so far let's do some surface stitching onto the left eye so i'm gonna start with the black so let's uh exaggerate the lashes a little bit more or the lash line so um okay so if you grab your black yarn um i'm going to join it roughly in here so you can use some of the black pieces behind if you feel they're long enough but i'm just going to go ahead and add some more oops hang on right so i'm just going to follow along the top of here and end it around well i might go all the way around but i'll see how it's looking <laughs> first so i pulled it through and we're just simply going to do some surface stitching one all the way across i mean our stitch count might vary so i'm just going to just going to shut up and <laughs> let you do your work as i do mine just try not to do them too tight if you can help it Oops, sorry, I'm just 
I've just caught, there, there we go. Okay, so that's that bit. Mm -mm. And I'm going to stop it by there and re-add more. Because I'm going to like just pull. So if you look, I'm just going to pull it through. Um, so it makes it a little bit longer than I guess. So just going to, whoops, oh my goodness. All right, hang on. Just going to pull it through like that. It's probably not really going to show much, but it's just going to give a little bit of a tick by there. All right, that's one bit. And uh, now I want to just straighten up this line here. So I think I'm going to add it around about there. So let's continue. Pull through your black yarn. And let's just tidy up the lines. So all the way underneath. And I think I'll just finish it here. So cut it. I'm finishing it right there. And I'm just going to pop it through to the back. There we are. There we are. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, I also might see how a little bit of surface stitching in white would look this side of the eyes because it. Yeah, I'm just going to try. Um, yeah, I'm going to try it with the white. If it doesn't work, then we can try it with the mint green. But let's just grab some white. Oh, hang on. I brought some black through right there. It's going to be a bit fiddly. It is always fiddly when I've got so much yarn behind. <laughs> there we go. So I'm just pulling through some white and some surface stitching this side of the lash just to see if I can make that look a little bit, a little bit neater. Nope, hang on. Have a look. Well, it's okay. And then I'm. I think I'll finish it about there. Yeah, I think that looks much better. So I'm going to cut that, pull through, and then just where the next surface stitch would have gone. That's where I'm pulling it through behind. Let's pull that a little bit. Okie dokie, there we go. That's a little bit low, but eh, we get away with that, I think. Right. Um, hmm, unless I do a bit of black underneath there. Yeah, I do some more. I'm going to do some more. Hang on. So I'm going to add some more black in uh, underneath. Let me just see how this looks. Okay, that's where I'm adding it. And then just this side of the lashes. Let's do some surface stitching again. Ooh. Where do I want that last one to go? Yeah, let's pop it in there. I 
Okay, cut that. Here we are. Yeah, that looks good. I think we did surface stitching on this one, didn't we? So let's do a little surface stitch around the eye color as well, just to straighten that up. Okay, add the black. Yeah. Got it. Okay, now you can obviously join it at any point because we're just going to go in a big circle around. So here we go. That's how it's looking so far. Halfway. Oh, it's so messy. Okay. Almost there, and then yeah, actually, let's have a stick. Oops! Oh my goodness! Sometimes it's really hard to get the hook in because because my stitching is so tight. <laughs> so hang on, I'm gonna be a bit bit rougher with this one. There we go. <laughs> nope. Hang on. I've pulled something through. Let's pull. Pull them all. Okay. Yay, did it. <laughs> and then where I started, I'm just going to do an extra one just to make sure it looks good and finishes it nice. Is that pulled it? Is that too tight now? Let's have a uh, bit of a pull of it. <laughs> okay, let's uh, cut that, pull it through. And then I'm just going to tuck it behind. There we go. So I did a little, I don't know what I did there, but I've pulled something through. So I'm just going to try and disguise it. Ugh. Yeah. There we go. Dog hair. Right. Here we are. So that is some of the surface stitching done. Um, we can do more, but we'll probably do that at a later stage. I will just add a tight, see this little fleck of light there? Flash of light, fleck of light, whatever. I'm going to add a little bit of white there. So... I'm just going to find a piece of white. I'm sure there's plenty. There's only one little surface stitch. Mm, yep, I got it. Come on. Got it. <laughs> and then I'm just going to... Just so it's a tiny little surface stitch. Here we go. Got it. Ooh. Ah, there we are. Right, then. <laughs> Use my fingers. There we are, and then just poke it back through. 
My goodness, I can't. Oh, I should have waited. Did this at the end. Urgh, got it. <laughs> That'll do. Stuck it behind. <laughs> there we are. I don't know if it was worth it, but there it is. <laughs> uh, right, it's okay. Ah, surface stitching. Done. Looks a bit better already, doesn't it? Okay, so now we're going to continue uh, above the brow. Uh, and we're just going to keep sticking with our two shades of green for the moment. Our neon and our normal green. <laughs> okay. Um, so, let's see. Um, okay, so, let me just think. I'm thinking, thinking. Da, da, da. Right. Um, okay, so... Around about where the iris is, if you just pop your hook there. So let's go about halfway. And then I'm going to pop my hook in there. And that's where I'm going to join my green colour. So I'm going to literally just do chain three, yarn over and straight into my double crochets in the next stitch. Yarn over, double crochet, and yarn over, double crochet in the next. Yarn over, double crochet, and again in the next one, double crochet, double crochet in the next, and again in the next one. You can see where a lot of darkness is by here, and I might mix the green and black. So what we'll do, we'll get the black right now, and hold a little bit behind, and let's start crocheting with that green and that black. So yarn over with the both. Sorry, I'm just going to hold it. There we go. Do a double crochet. Yarn over. Double crochet again in the next one that was, there we are, whoops, well it doesn't, ah, that's okay, I only pulled through the one but that's fine, um, let me see, mm, yeah we can do another one, so using the two, so we're coming round to the side, so it, let's do a half double crochet in the same space, half double crochet in that same space as that double crochet, yarn over, Half double crochet again. And another one in the same space. And then let's drop the black and finish in the next space. Well, we'll do a single crochet, sorry, in the next one. And then a slip stitch. And we'll cut that off. Pull it through. Hide it round the back. And I'm just going to snip off the black as well. Oh, that it wasn't it. Where is it? Is it gone? There it is. Snip then. Okay. Uh so we're at that point now. Uh right. So what we'll do now is um okay. Um yeah. Let me just think. About there. So let's pop our hook in about in that area there of the eye. And I'm gonna go for my neon green. Oh, I just knocked my microphone. My microphone is actually strapped or sellotaped to my water bottle. <laughs> oh dear, anyway, I need to get like a little stand for it. So sorry about that. <sighs> right, anyway. Um, okay, so let's join our neon. There we go. Uh, and we'll go, We'll just do two chains, yarn over, and then in the next, we'll do a half double crochet. In the next one, which is where we started the black, we're going to do a half double crochet. Yarn over, we're on top now of the brow. Let's do a double crochet in that one. Yarn over, I'm going to do another one in that same space, double crochet. Double crochet that was, yeah. Uh, yarn over in the next stitch. 
double crochet and I think we can just do double crochet all the way across the brow until we meet that other shade of green. There we get another one there. And then what I'm going to do, because I'm pretty much made it to there, um, obviously there's a, a nice gap there, like much like a triangle, or oh, whatever, if I did that as a triangle. So I'm going to yarn over, and where we attach the green, that's where I'm gonna pop another double crochet. And then in the top of that chain three that we did, I'm going to do a little slip stitch just to connect it and cut it. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, I hate it when I do that. There we go. Right, right, right. Let me see. Honestly, I've got dog hair everywhere. It just comes off my jumper. Right. I've got a new little, I said I got a new little puppy and he's white, but it does, it gets everywhere. Right, um, yeah, there we go. 